participants talked about the importance of education and jobs to create a lasting sense of belonging in society. And this is not only a practical intervention for income, but it addresses mental health issues as well because it gives people a functional role that lends a sense of dignity and agency and social belonging to those people trying to find a life other than that as a soldier. And so you see a picture here of um, a young woman who's undertaking training to become a seamstress or a tailor, and this is something she was very proud of and took, took many photos of. But when you remove a child and you bring them to their village where it's been ravaged by war, it's been destroyed completely, and then you tell them, go to school here and you're going to do well. They look around, there is nothing. You know? Yeah. So how do you expect them? So oftentimes we give people very little and we expect that they're going to do miracles with it. We give an African boy, a Colombian boy, primary school education, we expect them, him or her, to be the president of that country. If somebody running a country with a primary school education is not going to do very well, that's just that's not right. going to work. Now, if you look at the things that are being offered, for example, the agricultural sector is neglected completely. These are places that could create sustainability for some of these countries. Nobody's looking at the agricultural sector. How do you train young people to actually grow their own food so that they're not reliant upon uh, the, the, this, this aid? Okay. The emergency phases, of course, is needed. But beyond that, what are the long terms that have been put in place?